I've seen a lot of great EMTs go down this path. I do not want you to make this mistake. Hey everyone, Evan here, the paramedic coach. First, smash that like button, hit subscribe for more EMS content just like this. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So here we are, you're new as an EMT. We have a lot to learn. We learned some stuff in school, but now we gotta learn real stuff here on the road. The thing is this, when we get out on the road, I want you to always remember this one thing, good patient care. Don't pick up any shortcuts or bad patient care habits from people that are burnt out in the field. What I want you to do is focus internally on yourself and continue week after week, month after month, even when the going gets tough, even when you're working a lot of shifts, I want you to think back, it's their 911 call, and make sure you provide the best patient care, no shortcuts. Do not fall into this bad habit in EMS. Stay fit, stay motivated about what you're doing, Focus on whatever your goal is that first got you into EMS. There's going to be calls that bring you down. There's going to be scenes that you wish you never saw. Regardless of that fact, you're in that seat, you're in that position as an EMT to be there for that patient in their time of need. With that high level of responsibility, you need to keep your mind sharp so you can keep your body sharp when you are in the ambulance. So what does that mean? How would I recommend practical tips? Number one, start bringing your own food to shift. Number two, find a time for you that you know you're gonna be able to get your workout or a fitness routine in. Find something you love. It can even be playing basketball. It could be a sport even. For me, it's running. What is, what is it for you? You gotta figure out what that is and stick to it where you know you're never gonna miss it because you love what you're doing. Now, it's one thing to be negative or to have a feeling inside of you because you had a bad call. I have a video on that down below on how to deal with it and what I've done to deal with bad calls. The link's down below. You'll see it in the videos down below. Now, moreover on that, other people, though, are just negative for no reason. They bring the negativity from their personal life into EMS, thus giving EMS a bad name. No, 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 not you. It doesn't need to be like that. I've never been like that. And I know tons of people inside of EMS that are not like that as well, right? You can see you want to be the positive light inside of EMS. And remember why you got into this in the first place. What are your goals? Go attack those goals and do what you are meant to do. This is why you're here. This is your calling inside of EMS. I got your back. I know you can do it. Now, if you are one of these three people, if you are getting ready for school, if you are in school right now, or getting ready for your national registry exams, click the first link in the description down below. Access to my video study course, over 420 videos of content, plus access to me inside our private community group. My friends, I will see you on the next video. Take care.